Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Furlong and we're about to use a microscope and I just want to go over some of the rules and procedures that are in place for these microscopes because they are very expensive pieces of equipment. Now microscopes have come a long way. Here is the very first microscope that was used by Robert Hooke to look at cork cells, which was the very first slide ever made. We're going to be using some compound microscopes. So here we see in the picture uh, is this is an old timey wimey microscope that uh, uses a mirror that reflects light onto the slide uh, so that we can view it. It has different objectives. This one has two different objectives. Uh, so we have like a high power and a low power. It's very efficient to use. However, we have better microscopes today. Today we use an electric microscope. And this is a, similar to the last one, except that it has three different objectives or lenses. We have low power, medium power, and high power. The longer the objective, the greater the power is. It plugs in, it has a light source, so that we can easily view what it is that we want to look at. There are more powerful microscopes out there, like this is an electron microscope, which looks very different from the microscopes that we're going to be using, and we will not be using one of these since they're about a million dollars a piece. So let's go over some of the rules. Always use two hands when carrying the microscope. One of them is going to be on the arm, the other is going to be on the base. These are expensive pieces of equipment. We don't want to just be carrying them, swinging them around with just one hand. You want to use your assigned microscope. So all the microscopes are given a number. I will give you a number, and whenever you use your microscope, that's the one that you'll use. Place your microscopes on the center of the desk. This will prevent you from, if you accidentally trip on the microscope cord, from it just falling onto the floor. Because microscopes are so expensive, if you break it, you bought it. When you're finished with the microscope, just loosely wrap the cord around the base when you put it away. Don't tightly wrap it because what happens is the cord will start to get frayed here on the base of the microscope. And then lastly, make sure that you put the objective back to low power when you put it away. Don't leave it on medium or high. That could run the risk of damaging the microscope when somebody gets it out the next time. Well, what are some of the procedures that we use when using a microscope? Well, we always start looking at the object under low power. No matter what the object is, we put the slide on our stage, we'll put the clips on, and then we start under low power, never under medium or high. Even if the directions say, look at this under high power, you're going to start with low power. Use what's called the coarse focus knob to get the image in focus. Now we have two knobs that give us the focus. We have the larger one which is the coarse focus and watch the stage. You can see it going up and down as I turn it. The smaller knob, when I turn this back and forth, the stage is moving up and down. This is what's called the fine focus. This helps us to really get things in good focus. Primarily you're going to be using the coarse focus knob, especially under low and medium power. Once you have the object in focus, then you can move it to medium power. Never go from low to high. Always go from low to medium. Focus it under medium power. And if you center the object in your field of view, so your field of view is just the, the round part that you see, if you have it in focus and you have it centered under medium power, when you then turn it to high power, it should be in focus. Now, if it's not in focus, and it's going to be very close, you're going to then use the fine focus knob under high power. Never use the coarse focus knob, because what can happen is you can turn the knob, the stage goes up into the objective, and it can scratch the lens. And since the lenses are the most expensive parts, now you just bought a scratched lens. So remember, use two hands when you get your microscope out, put the microscope on the center of your desk, and then when putting it away, when it's time to put your microscope away, walk over to the microscope cabinet. Make sure that your microscope is on the low power objective. Right, don't have it on the medium or high when you go to put it away. The cord is just loosely wrapped around the base and I'm going to put this away right in its spot. It's that easy. 